Welcome back. So let's have a look at the next assignment we want to do. And in this case, the next one is going to be, I want to show the top four product, right? As a customer, I should be able to see the four most used products on the landing page. So I would like to uh, to show, or Trina would like her customers to be able to see the, the products she's selling the most, right? And, uh, and that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can figure that one out. Now, step one, I know to show products, I also need some kind of product model, right? I need, I need, I need to an entity that looks like a product. So I need to figure out how a product should look. So the first thing I want to do is actually create product module. And now this is just to prepare myself for future usage because I want the products to be inside their own lazy loaded module. So we'll try and build that this lesson. And then I want to add a product interface and that represents the product entity. So the product can be shown with a name and a price, right? So that's what we're going to do this lesson. Let's just try and pull it in here. And how do we do lazy loading? Well, let's just start in the root of Angular so you guys can see where I'm going. I'm going to Docs and on the Docs, I'm going to Fundamentals. And on the Fundamentals, there's something called lazy loading feature modules. Now we want to build feature modules. We want to build a module for each feature or epic story. And that module won't be loaded until you actually go to a specific page. Like for instance, if this was built like that, if I click resources, I would only get the part for the resources from the server. If I click docs, I would only get the part for the documents, right? And, and that makes sense because I can now load the page, page a lot faster because I don't need to get all the JavaScript code, all the HTML, all the CSS in one go. I can kind of get it in chunks whenever I need them. And that's users want fast pages, so it makes sense. So how do we do this? How do we make a lazy loading module? You can go and read all of this. It makes sense if it's the first time you're doing it. So go and read it. Uh, I'll skip the first one. That's setting up a new app from scratch. We already have an app. So I want to go down to this one, which generates the module and uh, also make some changes to our current app routing. So let's have a look at this guy and try and put it into our code. So let's have a look at what the command actually does right here. We have ng for explaining it's an Angular command. We have generate because we want to generate something. Uh, it can also just be g actually, that's a, that's just the short of the command. You can do now next, what do you want to generate? I want to generate a module in this case, but it could also be like a component or it could be a guard or it could be a filter or something like that. You have different things you can generate. And then the name for the thing you want to generate and my module should not be called customers, it should be called products. Uh, do you want a route? Yes, I want a route and the route should also be products. I'll show you this later, but it pretty much just means that if you do slash products, then you'll get this route, okay? And uh, then in the end, I wanna make some changes to the app module to actually already prepare the app module for this new route and this new lazy loaded module. Let's have a look at what it does for me. I'll just click this and it'll create some files for me. There we go. Notice it created a new directory right here called products. We'll look at that in a second. Let me just try and show it's there. There we go, new directory. And it also made, an up, uh, made a lot of files in there. We'll have a look at those. And then it made an update to the app routing module, this guy. So have a look at what that is. What's the change? Well, it actually created a new path right here. Let me just make that in a few lines that is now ready so that whenever I go to slash products in my application, it'll download this new module and it'll redirect me to the routing that that guy set up for. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that when I hit the slash products, it's going to try and go to the, the products uh, module. Let's go and have a look at that guy the products module, it's in here now under products. Now this module doesn't have anything interesting right now, except for the products routing module. So if we go into the products routing module, you'll see if you hit the slash products, you'll go to our new created products component that was built for me. And that products component will then show whatever we, whatever we show, right? That's how it works. Okay, so that's how the lazy loaded component works. We don't want to use it right now. We'll get back to products later. Notice that's not my story right now. I just want to open this up because I need to actually add a new directory right here that I'll call shared. And under that directory, I will have my product entity or my product interface. So let's just under shared add a new file. Let's call it product TS. So I'm pretty much just structuring my code right here for the future. So I'm ready for the future, okay? I'll export this as an interface uh, and I'll call it product. It kind of auto-completed that because I called it product here. I want the product to contain the two things that I had in my scrum wise, which was a name and a price. And let's put a price as a number. There we go. So now we have our product available. Now next lesson, we can start using it to actually create something uh, from that product. Let's have a look again at scrum wise right here. Uh, again, notice 
it's right here. I created products. I wanted to create the products module and add the product interface. And the product interface should look like this. That didn't take me uh, two hours, but let's just put in an hour right here. And let's say there's no remaining hours on this one and just pull it to done right here. And um, there we go. So that's it for this lesson. Now we actually have a, a products module available that we will use later when we get to another sprint where we can start working with products. Notice I have another sprint right here later that we can start doing with an epic story of products so we can start working with products. But now we've just prepared ourselves uh, for actually using it and it didn't take us a lot of time, but we kind of made the code uh, pretty strong doing this. So next lesson, let's try and actually add some products in Firebase and uh, see what how that works. See you next time. Bye-bye.